Good and welcome everyone, it's Joe from Northern Bolt and Tool and today we're going to be testing the 60 amp hour battery backpack from Inco. We've got a few tests lined up, we're going to compare it to the 4 amp hour battery and the 8 amp hour battery in terms of performance. Then at the end we're going to do a runtime test of this with our heat gun and see how long it's able to power our heat gun for. We're estimating a few hours but let's see how it performs. We've got a chainsaw here as well. This is the 40 volt unit, so we're going to do some 40 volt testing as well. This is the first time this machine is going to feature on our channel. Really looking forward to seeing how it performs with our cutting test. So with that, let's jump in to some testing. Alright guys, we're here with the 40 volt chainsaw. It takes two batteries here. So we've got two fours inserted. We're going to insert two eights. And obviously the battery backpack, we're going to time how long it takes to cut through this piece of wood. I'm going to do three cuts with each battery. Let's test it out. Three, two, one. That is very, very quick. Let's put on the eights and see how it compares. All right, we've got the eight amp hour batteries installed. Let's see how they compare. Three, two, one. That's the 8 amp hour battery. Let's get the backpack on and let's see how that does. All right guys, we've got the battery backpack hooked up to the 40 volt chainsaw. Obviously got the dual leads over here. Let's see how it does. Three, two, one. All right, guys, that's it. That's the testing done. Let's move on to the next test. All right, everyone. We're here with the torque test with the battery backpack. We've done this test with both the four and eight amp hour battery and if you would like to see that test, go and look at our video, we'll link it in the description below. But the four amp hour battery achieved 38.3 newton meters, and the eight amp hour battery achieved 38.7 newton meters of peak torque. Now I know what you guys are thinking, 96 newton meter drill, why is it only producing 38 newton meters? That's because that reading is soft torque, we're reading soft torque here, which is the peak torque before the machine shuts off to protect itself. So we have noticed slight variations with different batteries. So we just want to test to see if we're able to get more torque out of this machine with a bigger battery pack. So with that, let's get into the testing. If you'd like to know more about soft torque, I suggest heading over to ChatGPT or something similar and they will get plenty of information about soft torque reading. So peak torque, let's test it out. Three, two, one. And we got 38.7, so identical to the 8 amp hour battery. To be honest, I'm not super surprised that it's so similar or the same reading, but that's the results on the peak torque. Let's move on to the next test. All right, guys, we're here with the impact range test. We're going to fasten this nut for 10 seconds, then we're going to break it free and see what peak torque we're able to get out of this 1750 newton meter impact range. With the 4 amp hour battery, we achieved between 500 and 600 newton meters. The 8 amp hour battery between 600 and 650 newton meters. So let's see if we're able to get a little bit more with the battery backpack. So I'm going to start my phone here. I'm going to go on 5. 3, 2, 1. Now, let's break it free and see what we were able to achieve. Here goes 500 Newton meters. Let's see if it clicks. Easy, let's go to 550. Okay, 550, three, two, one. 550, easy, let's go to 600. 600, three, two, one. 600, easy, let's do 650. 650, three, two, one. And we did 650, let's go to 700. 700 in three, two, one. 
we got 700 let's go to 750 750 three two one <laughs> and we broke it through on 750 so quite a significant improvement over there let's head back to the studio for the runtime test all right guys last test we got planned for you guys and this is the runtime test so we've got our heat gun it is going to run for a long time we calculate probably between three and four hours the reason why we're using this is because it has a constant load that it's able to put on the cells so there's no variable like if you have a grinder how hard you push all of that sort of stuff there's a lot of variables here very few variables that we can control plus we've also got data from the four and eight amp hour battery with runtime how long they last so the four amp hour battery was just over 15 minutes the eight amp hour battery was about 28 29 minutes so based off of that we're expecting this unit to power this heat gun for three to four hours but it should give us some nice good consistent even results based just on the fact that it will run consistently throughout the test so with that let me get my phone out and we can start the testing all right the battery backpack is fully charged so let's start three two one All right, guys, that concludes the longest test that we've ever done on our YouTube channel. Three hours and 10 minutes to deplete this battery pack for a heat gun. So that's quite impressive. That's a very long time. Let's crunch some numbers and let's talk about the results. So there's the testing done and dusted with our 60 amp hour battery backpack. So first off, this machine, this battery is a big, big piece of kit and equipment, and it is quite heavy. I had it on my back for a little bit of the testing and to be honest with you guys i was very happy to take it off when we were done so it is quite heavy it is quite cumbersome as well if you have to get into tight spaces i don't know if this would be the thing that i'd recommend it does get in the way a little bit if you're trying to get into close spaces or smaller spaces but yeah that's the nature of the beast yeah it is a big battery and does have a massive capacity so with the testing we didn't see a massive improvement on drill performance and I suspect that is because the 4 amp hour battery was able to provide all the power that the drill could consume and having a larger battery there was no running out of juice or running out of ability to provide power to the tool. So on the drill we saw a very very much of a muchness in terms of peak torque that we were able to achieve. In terms of runtime we saw 3 hours and 10 minutes of runtime on the heat gun and that is a very very long time. The 4 amp hour battery powered that machine for about just over 15 minutes and the 8 amp hour battery powered that machine for approximately 28 minutes. So in terms of runtime per amp hour, we've taken the total running time and we've divided by the amp hours of the battery. The 4 amp hour battery came in at around 3 minutes 50 seconds per amp hour of capacity. The 8 amp hour battery was around 3 minutes and 30 seconds of runtime on the heat gun per amp hour and the 60 amp hour battery backpack was around 3 minute 12 second of runtime per amp hour. So you can see how the smaller battery gave you a longer runtime per amp hour if that makes sense. In terms of cutting speed with this massive 40 volt chainsaw, and I do just want to say that this is a fantastic machine. If you're considering this unit and you're not quite sure, I'd say go ahead and buy it. It is phenomenal, it's powerful and it's actually a lot of fun to use. Amazing, amazing tool here. But the 4 amp hour batteries weren't able to provide the full amount of demand that this machine was asking of them. 
the 8 amp hour batteries were coming into their own but the battery backpack was able to outperform that 8 amp hour battery by 0.3 seconds in terms of total time difference between them it's not a big difference in performance there uh, very 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 close but they do outperform the 4 amp hour battery so if you are looking at this machine it will run very well off a 4 amp hour battery but I would consider maybe getting a larger battery, maybe a 6 amp hour battery or an 8 amp hour battery. I think that would be a great point or great place to be in terms of batteries paired with the machine. Of course, it also works well with this battery backpack. So if this is a combination that you're looking for, it will work and it will work very, very nicely. The next interesting test we did was the fastening torque. Now I must just say that we didn't do loosening on this occasion because the data we had previously with the 4 and the 8 amp hour battery was only on the fastening. So in future, we will do a loosening test as well on our impact wrenches. So yeah, I know there were a few comments around that in the past, but we will address that in a future video. But in terms of fastening, we saw a massive improvement with this particular unit. The 4 power battery was able to deliver between 550 and 600 Newton meters of torque. The 8 power battery was between 600 and 650 Newton meters of fastening torque but this unit was able to provide between 700 and 750 Newton meters of fastening torque on that bolt. So quite a significant improvement when using this machine paired with the impact wrench here. It is the 1,750 Newton meter impact wrench and it is quite the beast. So very, very powerful machine. If you guys would like to see more on the impact wrenches, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button because we will be bringing more impact wrench content soon to our channel. So that brings us to the price of these batteries. The 4 amp hour battery comes in at 460 Rand, the 8 amp hour battery comes in at around 1,129 Rand, and the battery backpack comes in at around 8,000 Rand. So what does that tell us? It's difficult to know exactly how much value you're getting from each battery, so what we've done is we've taken the price divided by the amp hours to get a price per amp hour on each battery. The 4 amp hour battery comes in at around 115 Rand per amp hour, the 8 amp hour battery comes in around 141 Rand per amp hour, and the battery backpack comes in at 133 Rand per amp hour. So you can see the price of this unit isn't out as such. It just looks like a big number because it is a big number, but there's also a lot of capacity in this particular battery backpack. So it is on par, it is well priced. I don't think there's an issue there, but I think application dependent, that's where the decision is going to be made, whether you need to purchase one of these or not. So some applications or some suggestions that we had on our previous video last week were gardening tools or gardening teams where you're going out working with a chainsaw all day or mowing a lot of grass or using the brush cutter a lot. This unit would be fantastic. Put on your back. You can go off and go and work all day. And I think that's a great application for this particular unit. There will be other applications and there will be things that I can't even think of or haven't even considered that people will find use for this power backpack but that's one of the suggestions that we've had that I thought was a really great application example for this unit. Another application where this battery backpack really comes into its own is on the 40 volt tool range. Those tools are very high demand, they demand a lot of energy, a lot of power and this battery backpack is able to deliver that power and I think that's another area where this really comes in and shines. So if you've got 40 volt tools and you want to use them for long periods of time I do think you should seriously consider a battery backpack. There is one area where we're not super happy about this battery backpack over, and that is the charging situation. We had a lot of people commenting that they should put a port in here, a kettle cord port or direct AC charge port, and just put a controller in the machine to monitor the charging and you'll be able to charge a lot quicker. Hopefully Inco addresses that in future iterations of their battery backpack. Uh, I think it's something that really does need to be addressed either with a better charger or just a kettle cord port, I think that would actually be the best solution. Just it's a universal thing, you plug it in, you go, and everyone is happy. So that would be nice to see from Inco in the future. Another cool little suggestion or someone had from our previous video was that it would be nice if you could have a charger plug into this to charge your other batteries. So let's say you've got 10 4 amp hour batteries, you plug in your chargers into this machine and they charge it or use it as like a little power bank to recharge batteries so that you can extend the work life in the field with your batteries. You can recharge them while you work without having to go to the mains. And I think that's quite a cool application for this particular unit. Of course, it isn't available right now, but hopefully again, maybe an idea for Inco to look at in future. After using the tool a little bit, there was one other design flaw or maybe not design flaw as such, 
but maybe more of a suggestion and that is with the single port battery little adapter here and that is it would be better if this cord came out of the back of the tool and i'll tell you why it's because when it's connected up like that the cord like tends to want to go towards the workpiece and i feel like if it came out the back it would just feel a lot more natural and maybe a bit easier to use as opposed to having it come out the front but also only swivels to that far so you know it isn't bad but i think it could use a little bit of improvement there if it came out the back now with the twin port or the 40 volt cord it has to come out of the front so that you can use it on tools like this chainsaw the cords actually come up if they came out underneath i don't think that would be ideal i do think that one is designed well for the 40 volt units or 40 volt range from inco so again if you're going to be using 40 volts it's a fantastic unit and i highly highly recommend it so when it comes to making a purchasing decision on this battery backpack i think it's very much application dependent it is a good unit if your application demands something like this i do think that it, it is the correct purchase for you i don't think you can go wrong with it but for most people using the 8 amp hour or the 4 amp hour batteries, that would be your best bet. You know, you can have a bunch of them charged and you can go, you don't have a cord connected to the backpack. When I was using the machine or when I was using the backpack, I should rather say a couple of the machines, I found that you can't just put it down and walk away. You have to always be mindful that it's, you connect it to the machine essentially. So it does take a bit of getting used to. Of course, you can stand it on your workbench like so and you can carry on. But I think for the majority of people using this particular unit, it's going to be, for example, gardening teams, going out, cutting down trees, mowing lawns, doing that sort of stuff. I think that's where this machine will really come into its own. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much this machine in a nutshell. We've done quite a lot of testing with it. So I hope you've given you some clarity on this battery backpack. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, please hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel. It really does help. This battery backpack, as well as all of the machines, are available both in-store and online. We'll link everything down below for you guys to find the tools easily. Should you wish to come into the store or make a purchase online, you can check out the description below. With that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you again next week. Thank you.